Hello everyone, this is Dawn and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to uh, week two of Heather's uh, Halloween collab, which of course is hosted by Heather Manning. Heather, thank you so much for hosting um, such a fun collaboration. I am looking forward to seeing what everyone posts today. Um, there are four ladies on Instagram. Everyone else is on YouTube and will be um, posting throughout the day their embellishment creations. Um, so definitely check everyone out. Of course, they are linked in the description box below. Um, I will also be hosting or um, posting a couple of uh, inspiration videos as well. So let me get started. Originally, this was the Halloween embellishments that I um, made for this week. So, and then I was inspired to make more as you can see. <laughs> so I started off using um, my punches. I have a, this is I think maybe like a three inch um, scalloped circle. And then I have layered it with, let me find this one here that you can see. Um, I have layered with another circle punch and I've used a white gel pen. I did some faux stitching and some dots inside of the scallops. So this is, um, oh my goodness, um, I've had this piece of paper in my stash for quite a while. It's like an Echo Park or Cartabella or something um, of that line. I know this has been around for a while. So it had all of these great like smaller sized journal cards for lack of a better word. And of course I just trimmed them down and I just layered them with different embellishments from my stash onto um, the circle. Um, I layered circles here, added some tulle and um, a black tulle and the little eyelash trim. These little pumpkins I got at Michael's this year. And of course I've used some um, silver glitter paper um, and my star punches. So that was the first one with the little ghosty. Oh my goodness, the rain has uh, started outside, so you might be able to hear it here. This one here, a little bit of a haunted house theme. Again, I've got the little stars. I think that is really fun. Um, I really enjoyed making these, and I watched a lot of videos to get a lot um, inspiration. I love, this one might be my favorite with the little witch hat. Love the little witch legs, the trick-or-treat. So fun. And then last but not least is this one here. A little tag, a little spider web. Um, really done in the same style. So these were really fun. And then next, um, I created some of these layered hearts when I was doing my Christmas in July collaboration. Well, I thought it would be fun. It's a Biggs, Sizzix Biggs die, and I did not bring it out here with me, um, but it has the primitive hearts in three different sizes. Um, they carry it now at Hobby Lobby. If you have any questions about it, um, let me know and I can tell you um, um, tell you what the number is if you are interested in this die. So I just cut the hearts out of um, the Michaels Pinkaboo paper this year, which of course is the purples and the pinks and I've used some glitter papers as well um, in pinks and there's the purples. This one here is a pretty cool paper. Um, it's kind of like a, like a lavender holographic and then I just used different embellishments. That's one of those little Dollar Tree bats. Just different embellishments that I have in my stash. These little ghosties I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're wood. How cute are they? And I just layered different embellishments. I love the googly eyed bat um, just to create um, different things. So I just kind of sat here and glued things. Look at the tiny little bat. Um, this is a small little tag punch I've got. Just stamped out the word boo. Again, another Dollar Tree bat. Another ghosty. Bats and stars. This is a fun little cat sticker I had. This one here is the little witch die I used last year. I just um, just used her head really and uh, add another little tag and then this one here was from a pack of cat stickers that I had got from Hobby Lobby and there was like a little black kitten I just added a few um, black stars to it so I really like how these turned out and then last but not least um, if you were watching last week Misty C of course oops there's another little heart with a little witch hat stuck in there Misty C actually created some um, coffee themed shakers last week which were wonderful and um, previous to that I had actually seen um, Mommy Loves Gigi share um, a 
uh, she was actually using the Pinkaboo paper pad and received this die. It was one of the ones from um, China. I'm going to leave her video where I saw her create these awesome coffee cups. And um, then I saw Sabrina Ann uh, yesterday post an awesome video um, creating a candy corn themed uh, coffee awesome job she did and then when I saw that I was like oh my goodness you know what I want to make these coffee cup embellishments in the candy corn theme so I've treated them for the most part the same with some minor changes this one here has some um, orange enamel dots this one here I did add some of this opal um, eyelash trim I might go back and do that to the rest of them but I left these without the um, eyelash trim. I've used some black stars on this one. This trick or treat is an impression obsession uh, dye and I used some black glitter paper and then for the eye I did use a little gemstone because the the little dot oh my goodness who knows where that went. <laughs> this one here I used um, some black um, enamel dots and then last but not least I used my little bat punch and I did batter um, orange and white paint on the back of this yo yo yellow from Stampin' Up um, cardstock and I did ink so those are my candy corn themed uh, coffee cups so what a lot of fun this was you'll have to let me know what your favorite is I really enjoyed making these projects and again I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody hosts today it's gonna be a ton of fun um, please give us a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you haven't and and uh, once again, Heather, thank you so much for hosting and until next time.